Let's see what they buy. Let's see if they try anything uh, sneaky here, like they did on Dust 2. But there's smokes and flashes. So far, we just see armor. Frost and Steel have not bought yet. Okay, it looks like Frost is going to get the smokes. Or the smoke. As you guys can see as well on the feed, make sure you guys tweet over to at ESCA net and also hashtag uh, ESCA LAN and also at Steel Series to make sure you get a chance to win a uh, very own headset brought to you by Steel Series. I think they're 5 HV3s that I do have myself and that we're actually wearing right now. They're quite smooth. Yeah, they're quite they're, good. They're nice. So let's look at the pistol round, and it's going to be started off here by Homeless on T side. It is composed of Frost, Monte, Mosbeck, Freakazoid, and Steel in for mouse pads. We've got Sobo, Finesse, Lucky, Slip, and Cutler. Pushing inside the B bomb start right now is Homeless, but we are holding it out right now with Cutler at the generator. Freakazoid getting the frag. Frost then killed by Cutler, retaliated by Freakazoid though. Slip trying to come through from the CT spawn through the smoke. Bomb is yet to be planted. Finally does so by Freakazoid trying to keep and win this team, uh, win this round for his team. But he's still alive with Mosbeck as well in the back of the site. They're just shooting left and right, so they know right now for Mouse Baz where the last two members are in the back of the site. And a crossfire is set up on this retake. A slip and Sobo take it over and get the defuse against a Team Homeless to win the pistol round. Yeah, it's something we saw. FNS bought a uh, Molotov for the whole B site just to delay to, to smoke off or to Molotov off the entrance there just to wait for. The rotation. So the uh, the pistol round was round here uh, was won. Sorry by mouse pass. So let's see what they have in store for us for this second round. Can we do fanatic again? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Let's try and take us out of them. I'm stay, I'll stay connected then. All right, stay connected. We're doing I, yeah, but I'm just going straight to quad then. Yeah, yeah we are too. It's always like you can jiggle, feet, just run back. And fall back. So straight to connector, straight to quad. They're just, oh, sorry, they're just playing a default 2 1 2 right now for the CT side. Sobo is going to get the opening frag here. So he was the one that's trying to push towards this middle by himself. As Lucky has moved down towards the connector, still pushing up though. Gets the headshot with the P250. A slip was totally blinded. He's going to be able to pick up a FAMAS. They're trying to move up on the connector. As right now, Lucky is by himself on the top of the catwalk, just above the forklift. Sobo's rotating from the white truck. They dropped the bomb here. I don't know why Frost went up there with the bomb by himself, but still manages to get two kills with the FAMAS. Now a two versus one. He's trying to come up against Cutler. Lines up the shot, misses a few bursts. Back to the P250, catches Finesse off guard, headshots him. Now down to a one versus one. Can he clutch this? If he does, he also gets the ace on this save round for Homeless. Spots him at White Truck and Whoa. does get the kill. A burst in the face of nice Cutler shot. and aces against Mouse Baz, and that's going to hurt the CT's morale. Great round, but it was a little bit impatient by Cutler there pushing up uh, when Steel was co contesting his teammate there by Truck. So it's a great round from him. Oh, that was amazing. So now that he's actually playing on the same time zone as everybody else, he's awake for this match. Great round coming in there for uh, that uh, eco, for a steal for a homeless. And that hurts right now, Mass's, Mouse Bass's money situation. As they hopefully could get some kills and pick us a, a few guns here as they're pushing aggressively outside at main. Steel spots three of them. He needs it. Falls back, waiting for backup here from his teammates. And it looks like it's going to be uh, them boosting up on the middle boxes as well to try to hold things back. Freakazoid is already on the top, but as they pushed through and spotted nobody else right now for the CT side, they have decided to fall back and work for a uh, a crossfire here inside the A side. So it's Sobo and Slip back at quad, Lucky on top of the catwalk as well, as these guys are still spamming, spanning out, sorry, inside the middle area for Team Homeless. Freakazoid at the bottom. They will not see anything there, but will they try to commit inside this B bomb site? At the B bomb site though. They still have Cutler just under the vents, and Freakazoid manages to take him down. Vinez trying to stay as alive as long as he can to have his teammates rotate. He spots Frost, looks back towards the right side, then picked off by Mosbeck, though, with the AK-47. Rotating across, Sobo spamming through, but doesn't manage to get a kill. Slip, meanwhile, on the top of Heaven, gets the headshot onto Mosbeck with that 5-7. Bomb is now planted. Three-on-three three situation. They're trying to eco them to counter back, but they're getting dropped one by one, and Homeless gets the round to make the score now 2-1 to one with two unanswered rounds. Yeah, there's the, the last two rounds now. Uh, Homeless has taken middle, taking control. They want an eco from middle. So if Mousepads cannot start holding this middle after they start buying, uh, Homeless is just going to run over this uh, T side and possibly take them out. Mid control is so important on this map, like we, like you said earlier, before we went live. I think more so than like a Dust 2 or something like that. Yep. 
So now we're just gonna flash above. We do have an aggressive push for the CT side, though, having four guys working up here. Admit it's Cutler, Sobo, Finesse, and also Slip. Mosbeck running towards the A side to get the kill onto Finesse. Freakazoid then boosted up. Frag on to Sobo. They spot another one at Z, which was Slip. Slip is down very low. Cutler made his way inside the warehouse, though. But he's not gonna spot anybody as of yet. Things have calmed down just a little bit as I was about to switch to Slip. He gets picked off there by Steel. As we're coming in inside the A bomb site, Lucky up on Catwalk, trying to get things done with this 5-7, reloads. And is trying to get the kill onto Mosbeck. Puts him down to 5 HP. And now it's up to Cutler with a P2K. Moving up towards A main. As it's going to be a 5 on 1 situation. I don't think it's going to be the same thing that Steel has done. Got aim punched on the first shot against Monte. And Monte easily picked him off. And the score is now 3 to 1 in favor of Mouse Baz. And they're still tight in the money situation. It's going to be a gun round here, Sun Man. Yep. But uh, they're not going to be able to all buy kits. I was just going to mention that. Th like three guys had 3.4k. And uh, what I was going to mention. Like I said before, main control is so important, so you need CTs need to hold with, with like two or three at the start just to stop that initial like blue step or bust out towards metal. Well, so you can see right now. Yeah, it looks like the uh, Paris are going towards A and not even going towards A, so. Yeah, so they did try to support towards this middle area, but they didn't spot anybody. You saw uh, that Sobo pushed all the way up to just be on the left side boost. They are splitting up right now. Speaking about Homeless, to try to work towards this A bomb site. So Lucky is going to try to hold this by himself for now. Here comes plenty of smokes. He's totally blinding. He hears the door open, and Freakazoid just runs across and one-shots him. Finesse on the flank. Headshot onto Monte. Now a four-on-two situation as we still have Cutler alive at the catwalk. He's going to get spotted by Steel on the top, trying to get this uh, reaction shot on the top. Uh, Steel got blinded by his own teammate, so Color is going to have a chance to fall back. No, he decides to move back up and still stuck in the corner. Meanwhile, Finesse is still trying to come across to help him out. He spots one at Quad. A trade comes in, trying to get a second one onto Steel. Looking back towards the A side, Frost picks him up. And now it is a four unanswered rounds against Mousepaz. Yeah, Mousepaz took way too long after getting the mid control. I think they even the two B players pushed up and boosted Vents. And like you said, there was a guy pushed up mid as well. And they just took way too long to send that second uh, A guy back to the site and just leaving Lucky alone there. Just you can't really control uh, four terrorists coming every at you. All right, so P250s and 5.7s right now for Mouse Baznor Armor. Probably to try to save as much money as he can to hopefully get an op coming in. They spot Freakazoid, they dink him down to 4 HP, but then Mosbeck comes up and then steal on a to Lucky to make it an early 5 on 3 situation. Sobo's going to try to get something done here, trying to get a blind kill. Will manage to do so with the headshot onto Frost. And just like that, his teammates have fallen down at middle and spawn. So he's going to be the last man standing, moving back up onto the catwalk. Gets headshotted by Steel from main. And that's five unanswered rounds, but we will have enough money for ops if we opt to do so. No pun intended. And Slip will buy one here for Mousepaz. Yeah, you wonder what the score would be right now. Steel didn't win that clutch round, second yeah. round. That was That's huge for them. Now they're at 5-1, like you just said, and without and Steel, I don't think the score would be close to this. And I don't even know if you guys heard it, but they were screaming Mouse Baz when they won that pistol round. And yeah. as soon as Steel aced them, it was quiet, and it's been quiet since. Yep. Even So hopefully this round, if they win it, will bring the morale up. A slip gets the opening frag. Falling back right now as they're splitting inside the A site again right now for Homeless. Slip falls back inside the site, flashes over main to try to make a spot towards Quad. And he, it was a successful flash, actually, because Frost was, tol was totally blinded. Uh, but after that off shot, they know that he's playing from quad now as that blue door opens. Here comes a few nades. Could be a fake coming in now, though. They decide to fall back just for a bit. Here comes the counter flashes and nades, though, from uh, Team Mousepaz. But nobody's really committing inside the site yet. You can see it from the minimap. They're looking back towards the T-spawn of four, the terrorist team. It's going to be Monte that's going to try to get an opening kill with Mossbeck. Boost it up on Orange. On the T side. Monte looking back. A flash comes in as Frost gets the kill onto Sobo, who's trying to push down there. Slip is going to try to op it from Quad, but I think these guys are going to try to go through vents. So let's see if Cutler and Finesse can hold it down. Finesse is going to be the one peeking. Spots the first two. It's Monte. It's Freakazoid. It's Frost. He gets the headshot onto Frost. Then retaliate by Freakazoid. Freakazoid trying to move forward. 
but doesn't know that Cutler was still inside the site, and Cutler drops him, and there you go. The momentum is back here for Miles Baz. You can hear them screaming, so losing that eco against Steel didn't really affect them, hoping to come back in this game. Yeah, and that was a really nice patience by Cutler sitting there on the left side of the site while uh, his teammate was fighting. Yep. So when his teammate dies, um, I don't think Homeless expected him there, and he's peeked out, killed two guys, and the spawn guy, I think, picked up the last guy. So nice patience. Nice rotation back to B, too. They sent two straight back to B after they didn't realize that A was a fake. So it's still going to be a fun, full gun round, of course, here for Homeless. And Frost is going to be the, tr the one trying to opt towards main. But this time, Slip is not pushing out. He's actually opting inside B by himself. So he probably had a B spawn, went for the drop, and he's peeking it now. As nothing is happening, Finesse gets boosted inside uh, the vents. So this would be an advantage right now for Mouse Pass to just support the a bomb site it should be easier for them to rotate as well from middle as you can see cutler is making his way back from z at white car but these guys are still creeping towards the b bomb site and i think finesse should be able to hear some footsteps right now so slip should be able to get this off shot but monte goes for a quick peek and does a drive-by tap in the face of slip so actually finesse didn't get boosted inside the vents. He actually managed to push all the way up here from Z into uh, the vents on T side, but still didn't manage to get the kill onto Freakazoid. Meanwhile, he is spammed down to 39 as we're committing inside the B bomb side. Lucky gets picked off by Mon uh, by sorry Freakazoid as he was able to get the kill onto Monte. A steal then onto Cutler inside the uh, lower ramp of heaven inside the CT spawn, and just like that, we're turning things around putting Mouse Paz in a save situation again. Yeah, most likely they're going to save. They have three guys that can buy, but I don't see why they would. It's still 6-2, to two, so it's still early in the half, even though Homeless is doing fairly well. Winning that, trading those rounds back and forth, back and forth like 5-1, to 5-2, uh, to two, now 6-2. to two. Resetting Mouse has, Spaz's money is really crucial there. Yeah, and this is interesting. Cutler actually bought a uh, Mag-7. And he's going to try to play close range while the rest of the guys are trying to push towards main and also towards mid. Lucky does manage to get the headshot onto Steel, but as he re-peaks, Mosbeck should just be around the corner. And here we go. Does manage to get another headshot down to 2 HP. As he peeks again, knows that there's at least two guys at A main. So let's see if we're going to try to close in right now. As we have a 3-on-2 situation. Cutler still pushing up here with the Mag-7 slowly at B. While Sobo is stuck here at middle with a silenced USP. Just trying to see if these guys on T side will pick up the bomb and decide to fall back towards B. Expecting maybe a stack inside the A bomb site after getting a few initial kills for Mouse Paz at main. But nonetheless, Homeless still decides to commit into A and gamble. This push inside is Monte again. Another drive-by in the face of Sobo. So Cutler is going to be with this Mag-7 inside the hallway trying to make his way out towards Blue Door. Bomb is going to get planted out at 8. And I think at this point, he's just going to wait, open a door, and hopefully get a gun. Freakazoid's low through that door, as you see. Yep. Just by uh, the forklift. Cutler doesn't have a kit, so he can't go for any ninjas as well. So at this point, it's just hoping to get a kill, hoping to get some money after that frag as well. And here comes that door opening. Does manage to connect onto Monte, but no headshot there. Monte down at 47, uh, 41 sorry, HP before getting that kill. And Homeless is now up by five with a seven to two score over Mouse Paz. Yeah, and even still a 16K now. Everyone on Homeless is pretty rich, so they're not worried about money. And you look at the Mouse Paz side, three guys have Famuses and they all are pretty much zero dollars. So Homeless controlling this money very well and winning these rounds too. Yeah, like you said, it's back and forth. If they lose the round, uh, they're gonna be forced to save. Uh, so it, it, They've been screwed with the money situation right now uh, for Mouse Paz ever since that uh, that eco from Steel. And we have a double op set up, actually, Sunman, for uh, the the T side. Do you think this is interesting? Do you think this is actually useful for T side? I don't think so. They're both working towards main together as well, so. I think one op is fine. I mean, maybe if they were to pick it up, but I don't think buying. I mean, Steel had 16k, like I said, but I still don't think it's the right move here. It's only 7-2. to two. There's still a lot of rounds left in half. Joshua Nissan still trying to look back here towards this main. Sees nobody at white car, saw nobody at quad. Here comes the flashes as it's clear. Or so he thinks. He doesn't know that somebody's waiting by the blue door. It is going to be Lucky that gets the first frag onto Freakazoid. Lucky looking back. Mosbeck is totally blinded at forklift. I don't think Mosbeck knows, knows that he's there. And finally they peek. He dinks him down to 3 HP. 
BB while Cutler gets the kill on a two Monte, and there you go, Cutler gets that frag. Sobo inside the side, then on to steal, and the last one is gonna be the offer. Frost turning around, getting a kill into Finesse, but then Lucky kills him with the FAMAS, and this time it has been silent for Mousepads winning this round. And I don't know if that was the right move, like I just said. Like, Steel, when I, I went to him, and he was running into sight with a pistol when he had an op. And I think Monty was boosted up in middle. So if, I think Steel should have switched for Monty and been that uh, flank watcher and let the AKers go in first. So that op didn't really pay off. But like you said, both teams are pretty silent right now. They know how uh, close this game is. Third map here, 7-3. to three. Two AKs picked up, though, by Mouse Paz on the last round. One for Mouse in the hands of Finesse. Again, only three guys with kits, so they are low on the money situation. They're trying to support this middle area again with two guys at mid, but we got some action going on at B. A trade comes in as well, as we still have Cutler inside the fence. Looks back towards middle, saves his teammate. No, doesn't manage to save his teammate. They go for a trade, so just like that, it's a two-on-two -two situation. Mirror match, all of them at full HP. One up and one AK on each side. Nade being thrown here from the checkers, but that's not gonna hurt Cutler. We do have slip at heaven. Nades went inside the site. Doesn't hurt really anybody there. Frost at 98 HP. Slip waiting for a flash. So I think he's going to flash and then Cutler's going to try to go through the vents. Here's the bomb plant. Here comes a flash thrown and here comes Cutler coming down. And he sees that the checker is clear. Slip with the AWP looking towards the back of the site. Sees nothing there. Cutler then finally spots him. Got caught with a nade in his hand. But he's still alive, trying to line the shot up. Steel picks him off, and now it's a two versus one. He knows that one's inside the site, he knows that one's under him, and this is gonna be tough for him to win, and he will not be able to. Frost picks him off with that Glock right after uh, from the back of the site, and now it is eight to three in favor of Homeless. Yeah, nice team play on that two on one too, just Frost knowing not to peek too much, that way Steel can just trade if he, uh, he shoots at him in the site. Just back and forth there. But uh, now we look at Mousepad's money, as we were talking about earlier. Oh. The morale is not there for them going up and down. Yeah, no one's really cheered in the past few rounds either, so they, no one really thinks they have the momentum right now. I mean, because you win a round, and then you lose a round, yeah. and then that round that you lost forces you to save a round after, so it's it's back and forth. You need to win maybe one or two to try to get get that back here for Mousepaz, but they can't seem to uh, commit to two uh, wins in a row so far. Uh, for this half, as they're all getting dropped on the save, Cutler is going to be the last man standing with the P2K. Let me look here. Yeah, you can see it's kind of back and forth there uh, from uh, from this graph. As Cutler is trying to move back up towards mid, Monte is waiting for them at a random spot. Even I would never check there and be really mad <laughs> by getting killed on the top of those boxes. But Homeless wins that round. Easy win against that Eco. And this time, Mouse Baz have enough money. They're going for an AWP auto sniper setup, which is interesting, though, for CT side if you have Sobo auto sniping towards middle. And I think this round could decide, decide it for Mouse Baz, at least for this half. Because uh, if they lose this now, they're going to be especially broke. Maybe only having to buy the last round half. Three guys working towards middle this time, but Slip is by himself inside the B site with an op in his hand. So hopefully he's going to connect the first shot, but he's totally blinded to move it inside now. He does get a quick shot onto Freakazoid, but then misses the second one onto Steel. And now the B is open right now. Sobo trying to rotate across with the auto sniper. Mosbeck already inside the site. Meanwhile, Cutler did get the kill onto Steel. So it's a four on two situation with the bomb yet to be planted here for Homeless. Mosbeck knows that one's inside CT spawn, one is at heaven as well. He does have the bomb on his back. He's just trying to make it maybe a three on two or two on two before he gets the bomb plant down because they do have a minute left to work with, so still plenty of time. He's going to flash his own teammate. <laughs> so that's not good. A little bit of miscommunication there. As uh, that gives the advantage for Lucky to come back from the B-holes and kill him with the FAMAS. At least he gets the bomb plant down, but Sobo comes in, gets the kill with the auto sniper, and a defuse comes in. Now I think, like I said, the momentum's gonna call. Oh, thank God! I just saw Cutler pick up an AWP and Finesse already had one. Plus auto sniper. Yeah, if they had a three oh, op. Oh, he did. No, no, he's not gonna do it. <laughs> he picked it up again and dropped it. But I think, I think their momentum might be able to come back if they're gonna be able to win this next round. They need to win two rounds in a row to try to bring it back. Yep. Like I said, Mouse Bad Spaz needed that round. And they got it, so I think if they bring it back to 9-6, it's anyone ball, anyone's ball game yeah. But uh, standard weapons here for homeless, nothing special. Still three guys supporting though for CT side at middle. 
And this could be good because we're trying to work towards the boost again. No one in A right now. Yeah, so Cutler is at Sandbags. He's gonna spot Freakazoid, catches him off guard, kills him with AK-47, has Freakazoid head and flash in his hands. A big trade comes in towards the A bomb site. As the bomb, uh, A, the A site, sorry, has been overtaken by Homeless. Bomb is now planted, they're not gonna see this. Sobo still manages to get a quick uh, auto sniper shot onto Steel. I don't think he saw that coming. Now Frost at quad. Looks back, quick shot onto Slip. Two versus one now. As Frost is at quad, Sobo was coming in here from the CT spawn, but Monte easily dispatches him, and that's going to be a 10-4 score, moving to the last round of the first half. Yeah, and they just, Mouse Pass just got faked out there. They saw that Homeless was starting to boost up and uh, take take control of the middle, and then they didn't have anyone in, like we said, and they just flanked out quick. I think they picked up on that whenever they do hit mid. They have most of their A players there as well, so... Nice, uh, maybe anti-strat there from Homeless. So another round where they couldn't win two in a row for Mouse Pass, so screwed in the money situation. Yep. A P250, a 5.7, two M4s, and a FAMAS op shot miss by Frost at the beginning of this boost. Meanwhile, the guys are pushing aggressively, though, inside the A bomb site. Here comes Freakazoid opening this blue door, spamming across. Doesn't know that slips at uh, Forklift. And here comes a Homeless trying to come in inside. A trade comes in. But then the slip gets picked off, so the A site is now open. Actually, we still have Sobo hiding inside the site, but finally he gets picked off here by Mosbeck. Now Finesse is going to be the last man standing. Giving away his position, spotted by Frost. And Frost is going to peek. Flashed is Finesse, falling back as the bomb is planted at A. At this point, it's going to be a 10-5 final score, as they're both whiffing shots after shots. And finally, Frost decides to not stay back anymore and say, F it, I'm just going to move forward. Killing with the P250, and we're gonna end the first half 11 of 4 in favor of Homeless on cash. That is right. So far, we've seen the last two maps. Whoever wins big in the first half has taken on those two maps. Will it come through in this one as well? We'll find out soon. A lot of people, though, have been uh, have been kind of debating to see if it's more of a T-sided or a CT-sided map. Again, yeah. it comes down to that mid-control. But again, it comes down to the way that uh, the economy was so hard for Mousepaz on the CT side to try to get two rounds in a row. I mean, winning one, losing one, force a save. Winning one, losing one, force a save. It, the pattern was there, and it was just hard for them to, to maintain some sort of momentum to bring it to a closer game. I want you guys to tweet over at ESEA Net and let us know at uh, also hashtag ESEA LAN if you think this is a T or a CT-sided map. I'm going to have to say it's usually a T-sided map as well. I'd say it's about even, but I think for this particular match, the wind was out of their sails when Steel uh, won that second round. Yeah. They won this round, which is great for CT side, knowing Glocks are so strong. Uh, and then Steel winning that round just really took it out of them. Yeah, I think, I think when you're playing a CT side like Cash, the reason why I'm saying that it's more of a T-sided map is because on CT side, you really have to gamble where you want to have more of uh, your support towards each round. Do you want to have more guys defending towards the middle area, which leaves you open towards A or B? Do you want to have, play two guys at the beginning at B, and then two guys at A, one guy in middle? That means that middle is easy to overtake for T-side. It's a chess battle between both uh, for, for both teams, but let's follow the action right now in this pistol round, as we do see Freakazoid inside the vents already getting the opening kill onto Finesse. They're still trying to battle it down against him, and somehow Slip cannot get the shots against Freakazoid, and neither can Cutler, and now Cutler is down to 37 HP. Freakazoid is still looking good at 88. He peeks back out and finally gets headshotted by Slip. So I get the curse of the caster. As I switch over to him, he gets headshotted. Meanwhile, we still have Steel holding inside this B bomb site. He's going to spot the first one. Never saw. Sobo never checked the site. And he drops the bomb carrier inside the CT spawn. Cutler then gets picked off. Now it's a two on two situation. Frost comes in from Checker. Spots the last one as Cutler was killed by Mosbeck. Nade comes in. That's not going to hurt Slip. But Slip is going to have to hopefully win this one. Mosbeck picking up the kit. We are in the eyes of Frost. As now that crossfire is set up and Frost goes for that peek onto Slip then at Checker after Mosbeck spotted him out in the open at the entrance of B. And the round comes in for Team Homeless who's looking to take this third map quite easily against Mousepaz. Yeah, and I think uh, why they didn't really check the site too well with Freakazoid playing so aggressive in the, the vents, they assumed maybe they had more stack towards Zane. He was just trying to hold him off from coming through the vents there. Mm. Uh, but it was just kind of like a bait. Nice play from, from Steel and overall by Homeless. 
We're gonna go try to go for a boost right now. Made it by two armor. Yeah, P250 armor right now for Mouse Baz, but Frost is waiting just at Z. Freakazoid as well, just uh, at Catwalk. He's gonna nade on the top. And, and Lucky, meanwhile, gets uh, taken down at B. So Steel pushing so aggressively, but he gets driven by by Finesse with a one tap in the face with a P250. Also gets the dig out to Mosbeck, putting him down at 23. Bomb on the back of Slip now as Finesse picks up the FAMAS. He's gonna try to get this opening kill into Mosbeck. If it does so, B should be open and easy for them to take over. And try to get the bomb plant down right now for Mouse Baz. He looks back, spots Freakazord, kills him inside the vent. Now hopefully he can get this one onto Mosbeck as well. He knows that Mosbeck's inside the site. And looks like they're gonna decide to fall back and try to work towards middle. But Monte decides to push down towards his catwalk as well, so he's going to spot three guys just around the corner very soon. Nope, they're going to go for a main push. So they're going to have one guy at catwalk, two guys at main. And he's going to get spotted very soon. Lines up the kill on to Cutler. There you go. Kill by Finesse from catwalk. Now it's back to a 2 on 2 situation, but Finesse is so low, but still manages to get the kill on to Mosbeck, leaving Frost the last man standing. Frost in. Oh, runs out of bullets. Could have gotten that kill on to slip and prevent the bomb from being planned, but still manages to do so. So he's down to 78 HP, and Finesse has to win. If he does this, he gets the ace as well. To retaliate oh, to what Steel has done, he knows that he's around for lift. Gets the headshot, and himself gets the ace on the second round. And man, is this going to repeat itself? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is amazing. Almost the same thing that Steel did. I mean, that's part of the map and stuff, but... Yeah, he got an ace though, still only got four. So he just one upped him, I think, on that round. Can they get five? Or can they make it five to one now, like uh, Homeless did? We'll find out. They need to though. Well, Homeless is going to be on a save, but I actually do think that still did get the ace as well in the first half. Okay. Uh, they're going to go for the boost right now to see if anybody's going to push aggressively for the CT side. They do have four guys up at middle at the beginning. One decides to fall back, that's Steel to support Frost. But meanwhile, as they're trying to peek out towards that middle, Mosbeck gets killed at Sandbags. Freakers are peeking back out. He gets aim punched and then killed by Slip. Steel is going to try to go for a one-man peek by himself. But he's not going to see anybody on Oranges so far. Now finally sees Mosbeck, gets the dink, but then Sobo... Uh, sorry, he actually spotted Sobo, and Sobo kills him with the Galil. And now Frost is going to be the last man standing, spotted inside A, and a nice peek. Gets the headshot through the box, and that's now going to be 12 to 6, so yeah, we might see it again. Yep. Crazy. They are going to save again, so... They save and lose this round, it'll be, what, 3 to 1, and then... Lose an eco, or win, lose a gun round, lose an eco, 5 to 1. <laughs> in, in, in the best of, uh, of Mouse Pass interest. Yeah. So a save round like you're calling it right now, 4 homeless. It's going to be uh, 4, 5, 7s, 1 P250. 3 man stack right now for Team Homeless inside the A bomb site. 2 man stack inside B. Nobody watching middle. So it's going to be a gamble right now for homeless, hoping that these guys are going to work towards uh, the A bomb site. You can see from the setup, Freakazoid is really just looking the corner if anybody's going to open blue door and push and look straight towards the right if anybody's hiding towards that corner right there. One guy quad, which is going to be Mosbeck, looking towards Catwalk and Frost watching main from the uh, forklift so they really have all angles covered, but not really any crossfire set up for Homeless, so they have to land their shots if that is Mousepad is, uh, is working towards the A bomb site. Meanwhile, you can see on the other side, they break the vents. They're pushing inside the vents, so looking at it so far, it should be a mid to be split. Right now the crossfire set up by Steel and by Monte. Let's see how they're gonna do. Monte's in the back of the site, 5-7 in his hand. He hears the footsteps, he hears the nades, he hears the flashes, he hear he sees the smokes, and he's now blinded as Cutler is trying to move in against him, and Cutler does manage to get the kill. Mosbeck running through and they all get killed. Flawless victory coming in for Mouse Baz, as it is now 12 to 7. A whole new game. Yeah, now the question is, are they gonna upgrade AKs? Looks like well, at least Lucky did so far. And no ops. Okay, and so does Slip. No ops right now for Mouse Paz, and we do have Frost opping, and I don't know if he's uh, gonna be opping towards middle. He does have a good spawn for a B pick, though. Looks like he's going towards A, <laughs> and his teammate, they're gonna have three rifles in mid, so that's just as good. Yeah. If they rush A, he's gonna get at least one or two picks, probably. A smoke, Freakazoid's gonna make his way straight into the fence right now. That's some, uh, that's some really good faith towards your teammates. He just ran straight into the vents. Not really looking, looking back towards main. Hoping that Monte and Mosbeck will be able to kick, pick anybody off towards middle. If anybody was peeking towards the warehouse. Slipman, while it looks like he got dinked trying to get boosted up here. Towards the, towards the boxes at mid. Is now down to 9 HP. 
desperate big round needed right now for mouse pass on this T side. Looks like we're rotating back and forth. We don't really know what we're doing or where we're committing right now for mouse pass. So they kind of have uh, mouse pass. Uh, so they kind of have mouse, uh, homeless guessing right now. Sorry, speaking about mouse pass. Finesse made his way towards checker. Didn't really spot it. Steel. Uh, Steel manages to get the kill. So this is a big 5-on-4 situation right now for Homeless, especially still with Slip at 9 HP. But we're still trying to work towards this A bomb site. So Slip with his teammate Cutler at the blue door. Frost getting the off kill at main though, so that's not going to help right now. Mouse Pass to try to make it out towards the blue door. Now Cutler is stuck. He's going to get picked off quite soon. There you go, by Mosbeck. And that's now going to be a 5-on-1 situation. Lucky with 100 HP. Giving away his posi position by spamming through this box. The bomb is down. He could see it in his point of view. He's trying to pick it up now as Frost misses the op shot. But 17 seconds left on the clock. I think he should just fall back and try to save. He's actually looking for a few kills maybe to try to save this one. Does get one onto Freakazoid. Could get one onto Mosbeck right now. And there you go. Looking back trying to get one onto Frost. But finally Frost picks him off. But it's still a, a good round. Getting two kills. Yep. Trying to screw with homeless money situation right now, Sunman. Yeah, that was. I think that was the best, best thing. Is to run away and save or go for kills. He wasn't going to win the round. He got two kills there. Hurting their economy. Homeless. Now they have to buy up. Now like three or four guys are pretty broke. And them winning uh, a few rounds in a row. Yep. Uh, giving them a chance right now to get an op in the hands of Slip. So if they actually win this round, uh, it's, it's going to be a safe situation for Team Homeless. Again, uh, Freakazoid making his way inside the vents. All the guys right now setting up to work inside the B bomb site for Mouse Pass, though. Bomb uh, on the back of Sobo as Cutler is going to smoke towards Checker. And these guys are going to run in, so let's see what's going to happen. Can we hold it down? It is going to be Steel at Generator. Gets the dink onto Sobo. Gets the kill. Bomb is down. Looking for some backup. He's then there by himself, but Freakazoid comes through the vent. Then he manages to get the kill onto Slip. Finesse then at mid. Gets the frag onto Mosbeck. Lucky onto Freakazoid. Still still alive inside the site. Leaving Finesse. Last man standing. And then also headshotted by Steel, who holds it down and gets a big 4K. Going to work for this game right now for Team Homeless. Uh, he is definitely the MVP for the third map so far. Yeah, I don't know if you were watching Steel's POV for that, but a bit. Uh, yeah, after that first kill, after he threw his initial flashbang, his next like two kills, you saw the terrorists with the hand over their face means they're blind. Yeah. So his teammates were really assisting him there to get those kills. So really nice teamwork by Homeless on that round. Now Mouse Pass is screwed on the money situation, and they're kind of in a, in a forced buy. You have a Deagle small armor for Cutler. You got P250. No armor for a slip, P250, small armor for Lucky, uh, full nades, and an AK small armor for Finesse. So they're gambling right now. They don't want to play for the tie. They're just trying to win this round and try to bring this uh, victory on their side. But if they win this one, they have to win every single round uh, starting now if they want to win this against Homeless. Because if they lose this one, they're going to be stuck on the money situation and then trying to get a trying to get a tie game. But Lucky manages to get the opening kill inside the B bomb site. He's going to re -peak. Coming up against Mosbeck. Mosbeck trying to spam across. Finally get, takes him down. Spotted the second one. Decides to fall back and reload. Now gets the headshot. Then onto Sobo. Trying to line up a third. Putt slips so low, but Slip manages to headshot him with the P250. But he's now going to be the last man standing. Caught in his reload as Frost moves in and gets the kill with the AWP. So let's see what's going to happen here for the last round. Possibly for Homeless. As they're gonna talk, possibly last round for Mouse Pass. We have to keep going B. We're not gonna go A without nades. I'll try to get these kills at B then. No, it's actually Mouse Pass to see what they're gonna do desperately around. So they are gonna try, try to, to go for a pick inside B. Yeah, it seems like they, they almost like gave up on what strat to do. And yeah. just kind of uh, winging it, so to speak. They do have smokes, but they didn't really have any flashes to commit inside uh, the A side. So I think Lucky is the one that said, all right, I'll try to get this pick inside B. So he's speaking right now from Toxic, spotted the first opponent. His opponent has decided to fall back. He's moving up with Finesse as well, as four guys are actually trying to work toward their way towards the B site. And then we have a Sobo trying to look back the flank at mid. Lucky trying to get an opening frag still, looking back towards heaven, sees nothing there. He's going to flash towards heaven, and here we go. Slow towards the CT spawn. Lucky moving in. Looks at Generator. He gets the headshot onto Steel, but retaliated by Mosbeck. Mosbeck staying alive in the back of the site, trying to get the second one, but then killed by Finesse. Freakazoid moving in from the vents. Turns around as he has saw some, a few shots ricochet from behind him. Gets the frag onto Sobo, making it now a 2 on 2 situation. 
Fox. Bomb now planted. Nades being thrown. Frost down to 51. Another nade putting Freakazoid to 66. A Molly being thrown. Forcing Color out of his position. Great Molly being thrown. A slip is now stuck by himself in the back of the side. Freakazoid kills him. Jeez. And the fuse comes in as Homeless will win this third map. 16 to 7 against Mouse Paz, pushing him down to the lower brackets. Yeah, it was a great series, though. Both teams played very well. Homeless just edged him out there. I think 